A complementary color is a pair of colors that when placed next to each other, they create a strong contrast, which means they really make the other color pop or stand out. Today, in our class, we will be using complementary colors to paint our pinch pots. You get to select from these complementary colors. The complementary colors are green and red purple and yellow, orange and blue. First, select your pair of colors that are complements that you want to use. The colors I've selected are blue and orange for this example. Orange is a complement of blue. I'm painting the outside of my pot orange and the inside of my pot will be blue. Those are complement colors, they have contrast. I need to paint two coats of orange and two coats of blue. Make sure you cover up all the white space. Don't forget to wash your brush in between the glaze colors that you use. Blue and orange cannot be mixed together. If they do, they're going to turn into a brownish black color. Make sure that blue, after you use it, wash out your brush and then go back to use the orange. Or if you use orange, wash your brush and then go back to use the blue. The same is true for the other colors. Wash your brush in between the glaze colors. Do not mix the colors of glaze together. Wash your brush. Wash your brush. Purple and yellow are complement colors. Now what you see in this can is purple, and once it is fired, it will become a bright dark purple, but in the can it looks pink. This yellow also will be brighter once it's put in the kiln to cook. I painted the outside purple and the inside yellow. You can switch these colors if you want. The next colors are light green and pink. The inside I am painting light green and the outside is pink. Those are complement colors. Next to each other, they really pop. Don't forget to put two coats and poke that hole through one more time, just in case it's closed up by the glaze. Cover all white space and don't forget to paint the bottom of your pot. Red and green are complement colors. I'm painting the inside of my pot dark red and the outside will be dark green. Now the paint that you see here will look different once it's fired in the kiln. And I have those examples for you in class. Two coats of red and two coats of green. 